We have to look at all of the sectors that are causing the issue in the first place. How do we have the political will to take collective action, not just in our communities, but globally? Catherine, where are we? We are at Oxen Run. It's a community solar farm in Washington, D.C. It was built by Grid Alternatives, which is a nonprofit that builds solar in neighborhoods that really can't afford to get solar. And community solar is the perfect application for that. This is for people who don't have roofs that can have solar on them. It's for people who live in apartment buildings. This one in particular serves about 750 people. And I think it saves each person about $500 a year on wow. their power bill. How do you expect the solar industry to evolve over the next decade or so? We'll see a lot of community solar, a lot of utility scale too, so even larger projects than this. And not just in cities, but also in rural communities. This is a really good application. Also, the Inflation Reduction Act allows for extra credits for building in low-income communities, communities that have previously been reliant on coal and just will give us a lot more opportunity to get this out and transition to a clean energy future. Do you think that this is incentivizing the private sector to get more into community solar? It's really important for the private sector when they build a project to make sure that it's cost competitive and this kind of facility will benefit from the Inflation Reduction Act. In addition to solar, what are other technologies that you think are most promising for decarbonization? batteries, certainly, because you're going to need to store this somewhere. I think we have transmission technologies that we need to move the electricity, aviation technologies, whether it's through fuels or electrification. We have rail technologies, shipping. I think we're going to see everything across the board, um, really innovation take us to the next level and get us to the decarbonization we need. It's booming. Solar manufacturing is exceeding its goals by like 30 percent. So. The important thing is that this entire supply chain has to be connected to all the developers that are out there selling projects like this or building projects like this to make sure that we have enough equipment to install everywhere that it's needed. I think a lot more people will have access to clean energy technologies in the transition and a lot more people will have jobs. They expect millions more jobs. So I, I really believe that this is an entire economy opportunity.